So the original Subnautica, I think, came out in 2014 or so. I've done a complete playthrough of the game twice because I really, really liked it. Today, Subnautica Below Zero came out. Yay! Um, I bought this game back when it first went into early access, I think, like, two years ago. And then I played it for, like, three hours, and then, like, the game kind of ended because there wasn't really any story to it yet. Um, and it was just... Uh, it was basically, like, a, an early access of an alpha version of this particular game. I then uninstalled it, and now we're back. Apparently, they've added, like, an entire campaign. They finished the game. It's now in a 1.0 version of it. So... I'm excited, man. I'm not entirely sure what to expect from this one, but I mean, it'll be underwater exploration, right? It should be good. And obviously it's called Below Zero, because I think these like penguin dolphin noise making things indicate that it's going to be really cool. Should be about it. Happy anniversary, Loco. What's going on, Pav? Thank you very much for the one year. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. So without further ado, we got to start a game. Um, nah, we're going to do survival mode. Freedom is like a sandbox version. Hardcore is kind of like... Uh, no. Creative mode. No. Actually... Oh, no, no, no. So freedom is like survival, but without hunger or thirst. And creative is the one where you just can do whatever you like. Nah, we're going to do... We're going to do the regular survival mode. So survive alone on 4546B... While investigating the death of your sister. Here we go. We have a family now. We didn't have much of a family in the original Subnautica. That's the longest loading screen I've ever had in any Subnautica game. Is that a penguin dude? Yeah, the sister is apparently dead. Wow. Spoiler alert. Press any button to continue. Which one is the any button? Ugh. All right, I'm going to just press one. Ah, I found it. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me and Sam. We need to know what happened. Whoa, this one is already more dramatic. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. This is already more dramatic than the original game. Approaching 4546 feet. Surface temperature is... <laughs> All right, Robin died. GG. Ooh. Robin does not mess around. Hey, we are here. Forty-six feet. Enjoy your stay. Fantastic. What a warm welcome. Uh game is very loud, right? Was was the game very loud for you guys as well? It probably was. Maybe good for an epic introduction, but I don't really want to shout over the game volume uh, the entire the entire time. All right, how's that? Is that better? <sighs> Just a little bit loud. All right, all right, all right. A warm welcome. Well, maybe that's actually not really the way I'm supposed to say it. Hey, so what's coming out of the sky right now? Why did we even get hit by one of those things? Hmm. Dear God, your game runs so smooth. I chucked through this at like 10 FPS. Really? Oh. I just put it, by the way, on the default settings. The only thing I did um, was turn off motion blur. So other than that, it's all the settings that the game, like... I don't know. I booted up the game, and this is what it came with. But I turned off motion blur, because motion blur 
uh, you know, it's motion blur. One thing I do really quickly want to go ahead and do is lower my mouse sensitivity because it's a little bit too high. There we go. All right. Um, so my drop pod, I mean, it literally became a drop pod. So at least we got that going for us. That's something. If I get hit by one of these meteorite looking things, do I just die? Is the game just over? I played the original Subnautica twice with my most recent playthrough. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Hey. Is that a plant looking at me? Oh, okay. Bro. Some interesting uh, plant life we've got going on over here. Yeah, it's like a lava lamp. Those get very hot as well. Don't ask me how I know. Did I already make a wrong turn? I think I'm supposed to go that way. So... We have... Did we have an O2 meter in the previous game? I can just imagine there was a health... Oh, we have a... Okay. Oh, that's what it is. O2 is obviously the big one in the original game. In this particular game, it's temperature. So temperature goes up. Yeah, of course there's an O2 meter. But, like, I, I'm just looking at the bottom left and I see four different dials. I'm like, what? But the big one apparently right now is... Uh, is temperature. So, by the way, for those of you unfamiliar, this is a... Exploration slash base building slash I don't know. It's 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 a weird combination of a couple of different genres and it's fantastic. So how cold is the water? Oh the water is Okay, the water is New kind of warm. Yeah, it's also a bit of a horror game. Hello there. Been away for a while. How have you been doing? What's going on, Shavel? I am doing fantastic, sir. Welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in again. Look, that's me! Why was I walking so weirdly? Because I'm wearing flippers, guys. Have you ever tried wearing flippers and walking? Oh man, it feels good to be back. So in the original game, basically what you did is you unlocked new technology by building stuff and by exploring. Oxygen. That ultimately... Oh, temperature is... Wait, temperature now changed in that dial section. Alright, anyways, basically over time, as you unlocked more stuff, you could go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, and then eventually uh, we reached the bottom of whatever it was, and I think that was like... I don't know how deep it was anymore, but basically, like, you, you unlock more stuff, and then over time you can go deeper. It was nice. So wait, does it switch? Alright. I think it switches or something when you're on land. On the drop pod. Alrighty. This is just like the previous game. This is my storage. Alright. We have a couple of different things over here that we can uh, refine. So fiber mesh is made from creep fine sample. Uh, silicon rubber is made from creep fine seed clusters. And then we have quartz. Which we can use to make glass. Now as we all know, glass, literally the most important resource in all of this game. Because aesthetics. Yeah, that's really the only reason. But aesthetics is definitely going to be a main focus for me. Uh, flashlight, survival night, flare, scanner. Yeah, I want to make a glass base. <laughs> if I can make a base that's made out of glass, I will do so. It's very beautiful, okay? You can't spell glass without ass. It's true. I don't know what that is relevant to anything, but it's true. Okay, I found the drop pod. Holy smokes, that did not go as planned. Right. Uh, the future of Xeno works. I'm probably not going to read everything, but I'll read a little bit, okay? Just because I want to get a little bit of backstory. From Jex. Hey there, Xeno workers. I know there's been a lot of rumors circulating, so I just want to clear some stuff up. In the spirit of openness and transparency, which you know means a lot to us all here. First of all, no. Altera did not buy us. We're still Xeno works. Okay, Altera is the company from the previous game. 
Uh, we're not going to move offices or start having some kind of hierarchical structure or even like making you show up on site or anything like that, although you should for this next alone. We're still the scrappy, agile, research for startup you all signed up to. Alright. So Xenowork is apparently what I work for, and we got bought by Altera. Which is basically uh, late stage capitalism, because I'm pretty sure this is the future, right? Everything is owned by like five companies. Uh, <laughs> Or maybe two. We'll see. Maybe one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so what does this controlling stake stuff mean? Well, I guess the most direct way to put it is means more. More equipment, more research, more risk, more experimentation, more of everything that makes us great. And most of all, more cash! There it is. At least I don't beat around the bush for you and your research. And yes, snacks. Lina will be in touch pretty soon about exchanging your old gen Xenoworks PDAs for snazzy new Altera upgrades. And to help you get comfy with some really minor policy changes that are going to help us keep everything running nice and smooth going forward. So yeah, congratulations everyone. We did this together and now we're going to be much, or we're going to be able to do so much more. Alright. So. Notice of death. By the way, am I, am I, is this number going down? I hope not. Probably. On behalf of Zeta. Uh, President of Volterra, blah, blah, blah. I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha Ayu. She died on planet 45 or 4546B, which is the one that I'm currently on. Regrettably, as a result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and Recuperation concerning your responsibilities as next of kin with regards of repayment of damages and legal fees. Ah, This really makes me feel like they care. That's beautiful, man. <laughs> if you have any questions, you may file blah 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 blah. I may- Oh, I may file a forum? Hell yeah, dude. Okay, very nice. We'll, we'll read the rest in a little bit because I'm dying. I Wait, want to offer my sincerest oh. condolences on the passing of your sister. Lillian? I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4 5 She's got a face. B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever devoted to her work but never negligent i wish i could offer you something more substantial but my access to information has been cut off you may be in a better position to look into things than i am if you're able to delta station was our hq they were in a big hurry to leave and there might still be information to be found there it has a big radio tower impossible to miss i hope you find the answers you seek lillian bench well, okay, Lillian. I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. I hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. All right. Pick up quartz. Pick up titanium. Dude, there's like a snake looking thing already. Catch a bladder fish? Right, right. So these are all the same as from the original one. New creature discovered. New blueprint uh, synthesized from alien resource. The bladder fish. Okay. Blueprint synthesized. Very nice. So we can obviously pick up fish over here and then, you know, eat them. Oxygen. Can I get oxygen in these things? I'm assuming I can, right? There we go. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. All right. Um. Can I? I want to read a little bit more. Sam message. So that's Samantha, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll re we'll listen to those. Robin, guess what? I got the job. Oh. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Whoa. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. 
Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need my Augie? I trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tubers and nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. All right. So Sam is her sister, and apparently, my character is not particularly happy about this merger, or the fact that like Altera bought this company. Fair enough. Mm -mm -mm. So the first game's plot was the planet was quarantined due to a disease. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's basically that's basically what it came down to. Oh my god, that was very noisy, man. A really nasty eater. Can't believe it. Subnautica at night is always beautiful. Yeah, unless you uh, run into a bunch of different uh, big big boy fishes. Those are kind of scary. What's going on, Rushy? Good morning. Four five four six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> Well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy penglings. Spy We're penglings? The bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. Oh. I know it's not like me to just find a date. Let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but you, actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably not even a real. Yeah, we're just fucking. Uh, I mean, uh. I'm sorry to hear. Look, they're stuck on an alien planet together, chat. What can you do? Okay. It sounds like they still have you busy, Zeno working, though. <laughs> I know there's no way to. What happens on four five four six B? It stays on four five four six B. Okay. So much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you. As long as it's not the pingling, I don't think we should really be concerned. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. <sighs> uh, gotta say, already liking the fact uh, that the game is voice acted now. I don't remember that much voice acting at the beginning of the game last time around, and it seems to be running very smoothly so far, which I can appreciate. Wait, you don't like the talking, Hawkwind? I like the talking, man. But I'm I'm a, I'm a guy who likes stories a lot. I I'll, I'm even crazy enough to like when I'm not streaming, right? I like to do these things that have like basically words written in sentences, and then those sentences form paragraphs, and those paragraphs eventually form chapters, and then those chapters form a story that's written down, and you have to imagine the whole thing. It's just, it's insane. I like, I enjoy doing that. You mean like a blog post, Loco? Uh, kind of. But yeah, the original game did make you feel very lonely. It's true. Man, she's a nasty eater, though. Well, we are kind of lonely, though, right? Hey, Robin. Hey. I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky but. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can, can I be go careful, there? but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job. My safety. Um. I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like oh. Not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Okay. So she found something with the pangling. Hey, Robin. <sighs> I'm sorry. My last message was so awful. 
I've been under a lot of stress. And I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking. Maybe. See, I was telling you, dude. Have I told you how cold it is here? Guys, man, they're all the same. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer. Assuming she was with a guy. I don't know, Wild, man. Right. Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said. But I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. Hmm. I love you. I'm sorry. Loco, you have some extra options. Every time you open the PDA, time stops. That's what I thought, but... Um, the number was still dropping, right? It's at 84 right now. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, no, it is dropping. I just got started, Floating Mill. I'm literally at the very beginning. I haven't hey, seen Robin, anything. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is gonna happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I what? was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but... You're probably not because it's a video game, Sam. Anyway, It's probably very relevant. Please. Wait, so she didn't message back her sister? Was that the last one? And then she died? So wait, she... What does it say? I guess I should come out. I found a frozen Leviathan. So Devi Leviathan is this Reaper looking device thing that we found. Hey, there's one of those penglings, I think. Um, Leviathan is like a really big fish. Should be anyway. Um, so they found a frozen one that was infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons or experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly. Because they can make a bio weapon out of it. Alright. That's probably going to be very relevant. Hey guys! <gasps> Are you attacking me or like... Is that a pengling? Is that a little baby pengling? <gasps> I don't want to kidnap a pengling though. Oh, I can't pick. Okay, never mind. We can. I put him in my backpack. Uh. Guys? Am I. Oh shit, he's pissed off. I took your. Here, you can have this one back. Oh shit, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. Guys, am I... Did I just steal baby penglings? Did I just do that? Am I a monster? Can you eat these? Oh no, am I the bad guy already? I just got started, man. I was just exploring. Oh, It's really cute. I want to see what happens. I'm going to bring them back. I want to see what happens though. What can I do to them? Or what can I do with them? So I can make that, right? I cannot cook them, chat. Thank God. I wasn't going to, but I can't either. I can make glass. I should get silicon rubber, I think. Oh, jeez. Can you live here? 
Okay, I'm gonna bring him back. I feel guilty. These things are 40% mouth. Same, to be honest. Yeah, I, I accidentally went straight to kidnapping, okay? It said left mouse button, so I was like, uh, okay. This loco guy seems like a bad person. Here. I'm releasing them back into the wilderness, okay? It's fine, chat. Don't worry about it. Toxic streamer confirmed. There you go. Wait, Altera supply cache? Oh. Nearby? That's 240 meters, dude. It's quite far. Alright, fine. We'll swim over in that direction. What is this? Whoa. That's a weird looking one. I've never seen that before. Uh, is this... Creep fine? It is, but I need a knife, don't I? Okay, got some salt deposits. Always nice. Oh, gee. You look cool, dude. A sea monkey? Guys, I see a monkey. What's this? Oh, god. It attacked me. Oxygen. Oh, crap. I'm underneath the fucking... Oh! <gasps> No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die, not even close. I'm not gonna release you, you attack me, dude. Um, we'll eat you instead. I can make filtered water, right? I need to make a survival knife. And in order to make that, I need silicon rubber. In order to make a silicon rubber, I need creep fine seed cluster. So these things, I think, should have some, some seed clusters in them somewhere. Weren't those always showing up as like a different? Oh yeah, 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 different color. There it is. Creep find seed cluster, baby. Gotta pick them up with my hand. There you go. Pick up the nuts of the plant. New blueprint synthesized. Very nice. I got some lubricant that I can make with this. Hell yeah, dude. That'll come in handy. All right. Uh, we gotta go back home. Home is behind. The world ahead. You guys have to eat like really disgustingly, you know, the tomatoes. Hey, what's up, dude? The little tomatoes and stuff. You're like, sing, Master Hobbit. Home is behind. Always apply lubricant when making knives in video games. Why does the water make him warmer? That drives me crazy. What? Well, water can definitely be warmer than, like, outside temperatures. What do you mean? Maybe we're right on top of, like, I don't know, a volcano or something. Um. So I can make lubricant and I can make silicon rubber. Is ocean secretly a soup? Ooh, very good point. Maybe the ocean would technically be a soup. A fish soup. And the arctic temperature above water can be minus 50, but liquid salt water is minus 5. Man, you guys... Ooh! I'm gonna be able to do sick tricks with this. That circle in the middle of the knife seems dangerous, man. There's gonna be a lot of nerds that will just, you know, spend their whole time twirling around their knife and then it'll like suck. It'll fly across the room at some point, and I hope it doesn't slice someone. Um, anyways, that's just me, okay? Just thinking out loud here. I'll make some lubricant as well, just because I can. It's important. Never know when you need a bottle of lube. Sorry, I'll stop making loop jokes right now. What about loot jokes, though? I like how always Loco... Wait, I like how Loco always says nerds like he isn't one. Oh, I am the biggest nerd. I, uh, I definitely am a nerd, yeah. So I can cook the symbiote, but I can also cure it. Alright. 
Like a loop jokes are a slippery slope. Haha. All right. I can make flippers. Why are they called fins? They're called flippers. They use the wrong word. Translate vertical limb movement underwater into forward thrust. Enhance swimming speed by approximately 15%. Very nice. All right. Um, right. I've already put them on my legs. They look exactly the same as my previous flippers. A flashlight. I need a battery for that. Can I make a battery? I need a ribbon plant. Okay, no, not yet. I can also make it deployable. So if you're a hoarder, you can already get a waterproof locket and then you can store the shit. It's like getting a storage unit in real life. It's like technically you shouldn't need one, but. All right. Let's go. We're gonna go to the emergency supply cache. Is there a map? No. I played uh, my most recent playthrough of Subnautica, the original. Um, I played with a couple of mods activated as well. And one of those mods basically allowed me to uh, have a map available. I got a creep fine sample. So wait, what do you... It takes up so much space. Loco, I just wanted to come in and ask if you were gonna play Subnautica. Oh, yeah, okay, well, there you go. Yes, I will play Subnautica Below Zero, Basil. I hope that... I hope that answers your question. Okay. Um, an air bladder, emergency flotation device, chemical reaction produces lighter than gas for fast buoyancy. That's new, isn't it? Flares, used for distracting predators. A scanner. We should probably try and get a scanner at the very least, because there's a lot of things that we can scan. There's also an oxygen tank. We need fiber mesh for that. What do we need to make fiber mesh? Crude find samples. Well, haha! <laughs> Isn't that convenient? Okay, standard oxygen tank. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. Cool. Um. I don't want another situation like by Xantos-5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources there for five to off the line for three months. Right, right. So that's me. That's my personal look. Welcome to the adventure mode, Xenoworker. You have arrived in an Arctic climate. Your great expedition begins. Your Xenowork PDA is equipped to monitor your temperature and vital signs. Since you have downloaded the Arctic Survival Almanac, it will also dispense advice from time to time. All right. Survival checklist. Retreat to a safe environment. Administer first aid if required. Retrieve emergency supplies if available. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Find or construct a reliable habitat. Construct necessary survival equipment using the habitat's fabricator. Locate other survivors using line of sight or the radio. And then maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. Adventurers exploring the surface in cold weather climates are advised to take additional precautions. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. If wearing a standard issue AEP suit, bodies of water may provide safety from extreme cold. Unexpected detours occur. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch and a toasty hot beverage if possible. We can't say it is a knife. Uh, enough. Layers. Investing in a quality cold suit is certain to pay dividends in warm uh, or warmth and safety. All right. When in doubt, don't go out. This is the life advice I've been following for about a decade now. Very nice. When in doubt, don't go out. Repeat after me, chat. You're currently wearing the AEP Mark III Beta. Wait. I'm wearing a Beta suit? That does not sound great. 
a handheld scanner, a repair tool, fabricator, habitat builder, solar panels. Ew, solar panels. Why don't we just use nice clean coal? Mobile vehicle bay and a sea glide. Right, so this is what we ultimately want to get. The sea glide is a personal transportation device designed for oceanic environments, capable of speeds of up to 36 kilometers an hour in standing water, displays basic topographical data for aid in charting cave systems, has a replaceable battery, keeps fingers clear of the or keep finger rudder uh, clear of propeller. The sea glide, anything that moves faster underwater is probably trying to eat you. What a great slogan. All right. We're up to date right now on our logs and stuff. I don't know how long that's going to last for, but... We did it. We now can make computer chips as well. Very nice. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. VIP breathing?! Hell yeah, dude! I love being a VIP whenever I breathe. Wait, hold up. What are we aiming for next? Yeah, what is it? It's like minted oxygen? Loco, what do you think about the story so far? A lot of people are riled up when they change the story. Bro! Uh, so many people are riling up over so many stupid things, okay? So far, the story of this game is very nice. What's the big deal? Um... I, I tweeted about it this morning Because Discord changed their logo a little bit, right? So this is the new Discord logo For a lot of you, you'll probably not be able to really tell much of a difference Because it looks very much so like the old Discord logo, right? So in typical internet fashion There's a lot of people very upset Very upset <sighs> Literally, you guys are going to be okay with this for- Yeah, okay, no, this guy is saying the same thing. I would call the new caller new ice training. Circles don't line up. Can we please have the theme setting? People really hate change and it shows. Right. Anyways, there were some, uh... There were some very upset people. Maybe they've deleted some comments or something. There were some very upset people. Which is kind of funny. <clears throat> Anyways Change is bad guys No, I uh, I don't mind it They changed the early game Or early access story I mean, that's why it's early access, right? So they can try out different things And if the developers don't think it works They change it Um it is what it is. <laughs> That's the whole goal of an early access game, right? Like, if all of a sudden they decide, okay, I really don't like Jim Raynor. We're gonna remove him out of the Wings of Liberty campaign. That would be a bit strange, right? Because he's like a key character that was settled uh, like in, in, in StarCraft 1. But they're just trying to create a fun experience, right? I understand that people uh, people get upset over stupid things, but doesn't seem to be worth your time too much. Honestly, the main story of the previous game was pretty good. I don't really want to get into the spoilers too much, but it was also kind of all over the place. It wasn't an amazing story. It was pretty cool, but it wasn't really that refined, I guess. So if this one is going to be better in that re in that regard, I mean, uh, you know, seems good to me. Yeah, it's not very cohesive. I guess that's the correct word. Um, I can make a first aid kit. That seems helpful. I should probably keep one of those around. I can make a pipe. Can be used to transport breathable air from a pump. I don't think I've ever used these things in uh, in the original game. I should get a battery though. I should try and get a battery so we can start scanning stuff. I need a ribbon plant. What in the world do we do with a ribbon plant? I don't even know what a ribbon plant is. 
Are you a ribbon plant? What about... What about we just travel in the direction of the emergency supply cache? And I will see what's over in this direction. Local protos here. Battery is useful. Can confirm. Oh, you didn't need to tell me that, dude. I, I know very well how useful a battery is. I casted a uh, best of five series between Clem and Showtime today. I found out very well how good uh, a shield battery is. <laughs> What's the point of scanning stuff? So, in the previous game, again, um, you at some point basically were bottlenecked, which I didn't really like too much, to be honest, but at some point you were bottlenecked by, for example, things that needed scanning. So, these things are probably scattered all over the world, and you need to scan them in order to unlock the blueprint to, to um, be able to craft it. So, scanning was very important because of that. Yeah, there's two over here. Okay. I just need to find out how to, uh, I don't know, how to make that. I do have a lot more oxygen right now, though, which is kind of neat. Okay, so this... It's clever, though, like, the, the game is clever in a bunch of different ways. Like, for example, I don't think I can go to this supply cache without having the oxygen tank. So, it kind of, like, forces you to learn the game. Like, I already made it. But... What do you do? Whoa. Some of the wildlife down here is very... Grab Bro, he stole my knife! <sighs> Give it back, you bitch! Sea monkey. Sorry, what did I call him? I meant uh, you, you fish. He robbed me, chat. A monkey with a knife. I can't come up with something more dangerous than that. Actually, a monkey with its fists is probably more dangerous. Never mind, I take it back. Ooh. An entire chest just for that. Don't, don't, don't steal. Uh, stop it! What's this? Bro. No, that's that other thing. Sea monkeys are so cute. Yeah, they are actually kind of cute. Uh, no spoilers, please, Skywalker. Come on, bro. You've watched my stream for so long at this point, you should probably know that I don't really like spoilers. I mean, I don't know who, who out there likes spoilers, but... <laughs> Maybe some people do, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, that one was decomposing, but it was still perfectly edible, don't worry about it. No worries, no worries. So I think this is something I can scan as well. Hey, a PDA. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. Well, I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Do yeah, I want to pick up the beacon? Probably right. Nah. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Mm, yeah, it's a it's a Leviathan class thing. So it means it's really big and it seems to be frozen, and apparently they may very well be able to process it into a bio weapon. That's what we're learning so far. Um I didn't open this chest, did I? 
Stop stealing stuff, Mr. Monkey Man. So I think it's this cave, probably, right? Lead. Okay, I can't go too deep, though. Mobile vehicle bay. Oh no, not this again! No! <laughs> not that again! I remember that sound! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, there's a chest over there. Yeah, they're back again. There's like a certain resource you get. It's like a bailing, you know? If you get close to it, it explodes. And it deals a lot of damage. Do you think I opened every chest other than the one that I found over here? Violet blue? What what was it that I needed? I needed something. No, that wasn't it. Yo, Mr. Skywalker, I just asked if you didn't want to spoil things and like backseat me, and then you like literally continue three minutes later. On the bench! This time around you returned an old upper case even, it's next level. <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> I need a scanner, I need a scanner. In order to need a scanner though, or in order to make a scatter, I need a ribbon plant. We need a plant with ribbons. That's not a plant with ribbons. You think I can go underneath this ice thing? Whoa. <laughs> I love it whenever I request no backseat gaming, someone says sorry, and then three minutes later it's an old upper case again. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, where do you think I can find... Yeah, it wasn't that much of a spoiler, but it's just, uh... Can't be bothered, man. <sighs> New a bullseye shroom. Okay. Yo! Excited to watch you play this. Hope you are having a good day, Love. What's going on, Jay Dutra? I am having a pretty good day. Can't complain, sir. I'm looking for curly... Man, I keep the name... Or ribbon plant. Sorry, ribbon plant. Are you a ribbon plant? New subscriber detected. You don't have a name? Hey, a ribbon plant, baby. Electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Okay, very nice. Thank you very much as well, Gherkin, for the Prime Sup. Appreciate you. Loco, I love how you play these games so I can see if I like it before buying it. Someone called a Gaben. Gaben, where's my affiliate link? I'm a Steam uh, salesman now. I didn't even realize it. What's going on, Mr. Nepper? How are you? Yeah, they changed definitely some of the items. I don't remember the ribbon plant being a thing, but apparently I needed to make a, to make this. I don't know. Uh, let me see. I need batteries. Isn't that the whole point of streamers, playing the game so we don't have to buy it? I think that's about half the people. They're like, okay, I don't need to buy this game anymore because I've already seen it. And then the other half are like, ooh, this game is really cool. I want to go play it myself. I don't really know exactly where the cutoff is. But, um... It's a little bit of both, for sure. Alright, so first off, a scanner. Hey, what's going on, Vectures? Alright, I have a scanner.
Yeah, there's like it depends on the game, right? Exactly. There's a game called Get Over It. Uh, that is not a game you just go and play yourself. You purely like watch other people play that game because it is a pain in the butt. And then there's other games out there like this one that I think are. Since there's a lot of customization, especially with base building and all that, right? Like, my bases aren't usually that great, because, I don't know. I can scan stuff now. Yeah. I try and make good-looking bases, but usually they're not very effective. <laughs> shelf coral. Oh shit, this is shelf coral? Didn't we need this? Didn't we need those for computer chips? What about potato chips? It's because you're a Zerk player, Loco? Yeah, yeah. Zerk, Zerk definitely makes the ugliest bases. Mr. Greg! I appreciate you, dude. Thank you very much. Gifting 10 community subs. Thanks, man. Super sick. Appreciate it. Oh, it's table coral that I need. Table coral. I don't even need it, by the way. I, I just... I have the option. Thank you very much, Mr. Greg. Tables, shelves, is this like underwater Ikea? It is very much so like underwater survival Ikea, yes. Okay, let me just hoard some more water. How does a lone survivor start making computer chips after two days? Uh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, right, so we have the scanner now. Flashlight, do I really need it? Not really, no. I think we're good. I can make air bladder. Should I have that? I don't know. If you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. Oh, so if you're stuck in a cave, you can use this thing? And I can use it to replenish oxygen as well, it seems, actually. That's new. I don't really want to scan everything, by the way. I don't really enjoy scanning everything. But you can scan loads of things if you want to. So there's another one of those things. Red word. Wait, they were... They were a thing in the original game? Were they really? Oh. I don't remember ever using them. So, am I allowed to go really deep then, and then we can just scoot to the surface really quickly? Because right now I'm kind of dying, right? Oxygen. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Assuming it doesn't run out of batteries when you're just about to need it. That would kind of suck. So this is an item I can scan. A graph trap fragment, right. So I don't really need this too much, but you can see, okay, so it says in the top left, uh, one out of two, 50% scanned. So basically, oh, an oxygen plant? Oh shit. Oxygen plant. Uh, it's on the floor, I guess. My, oh, it's right here, literally already selected. The oxygen plant produces harvestable reserve of oxygen in bioluminescent floating bulbs. All right. One it is hypothesized that the attract, right, all right. Meaning. Wait, so I just, oh, okay. So this thing also, right, only has it available for a little while. Gotcha. A sea monkey nest. No, I'm gonna take damage, it's gonna suck. These things. Oh, didn't take damage. Sulfur plants. Yeah, sulfur was a bit of a, an annoying thing to gather because basically they're only available after Warning. those. Thirty seconds of oxygen. After remaining. those things. Bro, I am speed. 
Amazing. Oh, it's snowing. All right. Um, I found a sea monkey thing. Sea monkey. Are they arctic monkeys? Is that what's going on, actually? Do you think it's, like, exploitable? What? Oh, sulfur plant. Right. Sea monkey nest. Okay. Sea monkey nests are large bow-like structures made of packed sediment and plant matter. The sea monkeys use their white flat tails to pack the materials and form the structures of the nest. Sea monkeys are naturally curious creatures often drawn to metallic materials which they gather to reinforce the sides of their nest. Okay. Oh, we can use them for ascending? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. That's descending, loco. I got really excited. Sea glide fragment. Very nice. Don't run away, please. Thank you. Get in my backpack. There's a little baby cave over here. No, I don't really want to read everything I scanned. That seems like a lot of effort. So I think I'm supposed to have a base at some point where I can build um, my own ribbon plants. Because if I need them for batteries all of the time, I'm going to need loads and loads and loads of ribbon plants. I mean, there's obviously going to be better things than batteries at some point, right? But they seem to grow in caves. It was a little baby cave, Chet. Yeah. What do you mean? That it was like a small cave. Why did you? <laughs> Can't say anything anymore these days, huh? Let's go down Thort. Um, a repair tool. We should probably have that. Yeah, you could recharge your batteries, that's true. You didn't need that many. I just didn't recharge them, I mostly just threw them out. <laughs> like, ah, it's too much effort. I did recharge them at some point when I had a proper base, though. I'm all about that base. Loco, you see when two caves love each other very much. I'm ruining the environment. Well, it's a video game, right? Wait, is this game a video game, or is it like... Wait. Is it? Okay, let me... So you also have a little green bar that says how long something is still going for. That's kind of neat. I'm the main protagonist, and I'm drinking water. <laughs> Jeez, man, calm down. <laughs> mm. Have I have I got more slots right now as well? I don't remember having this many slots for equipable things. <laughs> 